Hello everyone, welcome to another video on packaging design. In this video, we will cover the designing part of a perfume packaging box. Let's get started. First of all, we will change the color of our offset path. We will change the color to this one. Select the offset path and choose the color picker tool. Now choose this color. So this would be the primary color of the design. To make the printing process easier, make sure to go with two to three colors. Before putting your design, make sure that your dye line is locked. For designing, you should have a product logo and other necessary details such as product ingredients, barcode, and address information. For this design, I have collected some random details. You can also practice with these details. Before pasting them on the die line, make sure to convert them into outlines. You can use this website to download some outstanding backgrounds vectors and graphics. Let's suppose we are designing a luxury perfume box. So I will search for some good-looking backgrounds for our design. Here you can see a bunch of beautiful designs. You can also filter the free designs as well. You can use this link to get a discount on your premium membership. Let's suppose we want to use this design. So open it in a new tab. and download it and import it into Illustrator. Right, here you can see the design. First of all, ungroup them. Copy this design, paste it here. Now copy this logo and paste it here. Resize it and change its color. I would go with a silver color. A little bit of a light color. Copy this text and paste it here on the front flap. Make sure to adjust it. I will change the color later on. Now copy this text by grouping it first. And paste it on the backside flap. Resize and adjust it. Copy this barcode and paste it on this enclosure flap. Ungroup it and adjust the text. Now change the color of all the elements one by one.
we will use this design on the front flap, as you see that we have a gradient at the back side of the main design. So first, we need to ungroup it, as we need only this front design. Delete this gradient color. Move this design here and adjust it. Change its color. Now adjust this design. Here you can see that our die line is on the back, so we should keep it on the front side. Select the die line and bring it front by right clicking on it. Here you can observe the difference. Select the rectangle tool and draw a straight line here. Again, select the rectangle tool and draw the box here. Change its color to this one by choosing the color picker tool. Bring the text to the front of this box. Now arrange this text. Again, select the rectangle tool and draw the line at the bottom side. Adjust this line. Select the rectangle tool again and draw a line here. Make sure to bring the die line in front of the design. Resize and adjust this line. Select both of the lines and unite them by going to the Pathfinder tool. Make sure to adjust this line properly. Now we will perform the same method here. Select the rectangle tool and draw a line here. Again, select the rectangle tool and draw another line above this one. Select both lines and unite them. Bring the die line to the front. Make sure to adjust these lines. We will add a text here on the front flap. 
Select the text tool and type the product name. I am choosing a random name. Choose the font and resize it. Paste this text here and adjust it. Change the color of this text. You can also put your logo here. To do that first of all ungroup this design. Select this area and delete it. Now copy your logo and paste it here. Adjust this logo. Here you can observe the difference. This is just an idea. It is on up to you. I will go without this middle logo. Now we will add some elements to these flaps. Select this star tool and by holding the shift key, draw a star here. Select the gradient tool and add the colors. Create multiple copies of this by pressing the Alt key and dragging. Select all the elements and group them. Create a copy of this group by pressing the Alt key. Ungroup this and delete this one. And adjust them. Select all the elements and group them. Create a copy of it by holding the Alt key and dragging it. Press Ctrl plus D to create multiple copies of this group. Ungroup this and delete them. Now select all these elements and group them. Copy it and paste it here on this flap. Make sure to adjust them. You can also play with the design by changing color and adjusting the theme for a better look. You can also change the font style of this text as well.
Also, adjust these elements. You can also put this logo here as well. So you can play with the design accordingly. Our design is almost ready. That's all for this video. Don't forget to check out my website for freelancing services and discounts. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment box. See you in my next video with more exciting stuff.